to the 30. Fake the run. Pressure. Wilson locking it up for the end zone. Touchdown. It's Lockett. My name is Tyler Lockett, and this is my story. Can't hardly imagine, Mark, what it'll be like for Kevin Lockett today to watch his son play. I know you have a daughter. She's only two. You're a little ways away from having her play college sports, but any yeah. idea what Kevin might be feeling today watching his son play? Well, I think it's hard to imagine how he feels, but, you know, it's sure there's going to be a lot of emotions running through um, his mind and, and be able to watch his son out there on the same field that he had so much success on and play under Coach Snyder, who he played for. So it's got to be a special day for their family. My freshman year, so many expectations for me. You see her articles, he got the hands of his dad, speed of his uncle. Um, I mean, dad was the best receiver, uncle was one of the top returners. I started getting too caught up in the expectations for me as far as just what everybody was expecting me to be like my dad and was expecting me to be like my uncle. So I was just kind of like, you know, I can't do this. And like, not too many people know at one point I was about to leave. Get ready back in. select so it'll just be fun sitting here with my family and friends just watching trying to you know figure out which team I'm gonna go to and going to a team that is able to utilize me you know able to allow me to do you know what I do best and just trusting that you know I'm gonna be at a great place you know that's the one thing my dad would tell me that he would pray about is just me going to a great team that you know actually wants me and doesn't just pick me just because you know I was the next best player on the board. With the 69th pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select Tyler Lockett, wide receiver, Kansas State. Love this kid. Absolutely love this kid. He can play inside, he can play outside. The only knock on him is size. Double move, see ya, I'm gone. He's one of those guys that's both quick and fast. Got some bubble screens. And by the way, no surprise when you look at a front that he's one of the best punches ever made.
concern with Tyler Lockett down. But watch Tyler Lockett again winning at the line of scrimmage. What a release. Brandon Williams. You're going to learn you got to win at the line of scrimmage with your hands. Let's see. A one hand catch by Lockett with the left hand. Oh, boy, John, this doesn't look good. I'm just judging by Doug Baldwin's reaction, who just oh, came gosh. away. And then, oh, it's not good. Let's not look at that again. It is not good. And, you know, this team has struggled with health all year long. Russell Wilson has struggled with health. Lockett's come on up late because he's been healthy. He had a knee injury in week two. Such a big part of this offense of late. Just gets uh, landed on on that right ankle. One of the things that I kind of thought about was, you know, when I was a kid, I had a dog. And when you got to train it, you got to keep him in, you know, the little cage. And I felt like I was stuck in a cage for eight months after being able to break my leg. So as soon as they let me go today, I didn't know what to do. So I was just running around, having fun, being a little kid again, uh, being able to be out there with my teammates and everything, which uh, is a great feeling for me. It felt good being able to run routes again and catch balls from Russell and everybody. So I had a good time for the first day. from the end zone. There's that speed down the sideline. Click, click. Broncos giving chase. They're not going to catch him. There is a flag on the play. Two as your weapon leaked out. One zero zero Danny Glover. The limelight never shine bright when you front looking at your mother. I never wait till the time's right saying Christ over any other. The picture worth a thousand words told me I'm a judge of book by its cover. Who kidding with you? On the rap, it sound like big wish. So you had first injured. in the mirror, right. so you never ever missed a big bitch. I can't reach it. I'm feeling the bitter risk. Suddenly, the rules, how a legend both moves, changed up a little and bit. He not hate it. All I see is bad nothing. Who's a cop in the flag tuck? Black face and burst duck. And I hate it. Tell me wear a mask when I ride through. The I just want to see your whole face, because I know that I'm going to fly too, and I'm good, man. Line does his job. Going deep down. Wilson, six completions to six different receivers. He's looking at it. He's launching it. Down for Lockett. Get the end zone. It's about six pounds. We don't see you out. We black out shot doors. Yeah. His first Mama touchdown what the cops reception in the NFL. Double back around. Homie, hit the clap back out. Like an encore, yeah. 21-6 as Wilson starts to push. I was 100 for the black gun. How can I have step when I make it? It's Tyler Lockett. I wanted to hear him. I just saw them two giving each other high fives. Oh, good. They're not high five after this. Tyler Lockett with a touchdown. Of the second half, the Bears the first two games have seen the opponent take it down the field and drive it for a touchdown. The open in two weeks. And here's Lockett, the rookie from Kansas State, down the sidelines and unstoppable. On third and ten, pressure coming, it's picked up, pass caught, it's on the fly, Tyler Lockett, touchdown Seahawks! Wilson and Aaron out deep for the Lockett, and he gets filled in, there's a flag, he held on to, it's gonna be a catch, it's gonna be a penalty, whoops, oh, a high snap off his shoulder, and now Wilson, just trying to get it away, and wide open, making the catch is Tyler Lockett. And Lockett is inside the 20, and Tyler Lockett gets swung down at the four-yard line. So a broken play, a snap that gets away, and Wilson makes the most of it.
Chase Evans. Lock it driven back inside the 20. Masquerade. Sherman was out there blocking for him. Lock it again. Just tripped up. Well, you talked a little bit earlier, Joe, and you know, when they first brought him in and drafted him, this was the role that they really thought that he was going to be isolated with was as a special teams return guy, and they kind of needed him then to step in and be a wide receiver, and he's been outstanding in that area.